Newton's laws of motion and gravity. Did anyone see anything move faster than a galloping horse in his day? Probably not. And so the Newton's laws of motion and gravity worked. They worked not only for galloping horses, it worked for the moon in orbit around the Earth, and the Earth in orbit around the Sun, and Jupiter's moons in orbit around Jupiter, all right, and for the planets. But wait a minute. It doesn't work for Mercury. Mercury's orbit is not following Newton's laws. Is there something wrong with the data? Let's check it. Data's correct. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Einstein comes along and says, I have a new understanding of gravity and a new understanding of motion. And it accounts for this weirdness in Mercury's orbit. What was the weirdness? Its shape was not exactly what Newton's laws of gravity would give you. Its shape could only be accounted for when you throw in Einstein's theory of general relativity. Why? Because the sun's gravity is so monstrous and Mercury's orbiting close enough to it that it's being influenced by extra phenomenon going on in the universe that's the product of very high and significant gravity. So then do we throw Newton out the window? No, actually. You know what Newton's laws are? They're what Einstein's laws look like when you put in low speeds and low gravity. Mm. If you put in low speeds, they become Newton's laws in that limit. 